Meet Matt and Melissa. Let's go, idiots! Yeah, right right right. Oh my god! Oh, so <laughs> Long Island self appointed royalty. We live in a castle. What's up? They may be engaged, but they haven't exactly set a date. Why don't you want to have kids? Excuse me? You're selfish. You can't be selfish all your life. Melissa has her timeline. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby in the baby carriage. And Matt has his. I'm not ready yet. You know, 40 is the new 20. How you doing? To help them iron out their differences. <laughs> don't get emotional. They're embarking on an ambitious new business venture. What can we do to make money on where we live? We can throw weddings, engagement parties, all kinds of stuff. The only problem is they've got no experience. Are you like a decorator? Because I have no idea what I'm doing. No budget. This guy totally ripped me off. And no clue. We're trying to start a business here, and this is not what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> oh my god! What do I look like, an octopus? Why don't you make a decision yourself? We'll get to him in a minute. Give me a break. You realize you got people coming in less than three hours. What did I get myself into? Someone's getting knocked out today. We're going to take care of this right now. So I see this couple come up for the first time, and uh, I'm a little nervous, but I'm getting in business mode. I'm ready to go. How long have you been engaged? What's going on? Tell me. Actually, we just hit the one year mark. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, so Last nice. weekend. So now I guess we're ready to have an engagement party. Yeah. Awesome. This is what the castle looks like. This is the outside of the front. It's kind of, it's kind of actually pretty cool. This is the outside of the grounds of the castle. We can throw a party inside and outside in the back, which the back is amazing. And when you I really feel that Matt is overselling us in this meeting with this couple. I don't know if we can pull this off. Are you uh, thinking in your head any ideas you might have for your engagement party? Any thoughts in yeah, your mind? Yeah, I want a theme. She wanted a theme. Like a theme. sick theme. I kind of want to do like a New Orleans theme. New Orleans. Because so we... girls like, woo! Let's not. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let me cross that. I really hope she gets that it's not Mardi Gras so she's not lifting her shirt up because <laughs> no one needs to see what's under there. <laughs> no comment. So what is the New Orleans thing? I'm really thinking, I know, okay, we thought. really like this restaurant. This is where I came up with this idea. Everything's colorful. There's masks. lanterns everywhere. There's oh, masks on masks. the wall. Oh. There's awesome food like alligator bites. It's like a bruschetta, but it's, it's alligator Thanks, meat on yeah. top. That's no problem. And what else? What about you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. We got this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We could do that. Yeah, we could do that. That, too. We've got the best people that are always ready to the high end clientele. Right. We're mates. Everything's clean. Well, Mardi Gras is what we do. I've been in nightclub yeah. business 23 years. We yeah. throw parties every day. It's yeah. easy stuff. Right. Are you kidding me? When are you going to stop? We're going to make this the best day of life. You know what? I'm, I'm sure that when you see what we could do, you're going to be like, oh, my God. And we could make a storybook wedding for you that would be out of control. I'm a little concerned that they're not that professional. They didn't have a business card. I don't know if they've ever really done anything like what I'm expecting. Very good. Pleasure, man. Give me a shout, Vinny. You got a, you got a minute. Vinny yeah. comes up to me and he's like, hey, Matt, I want to talk to you. Got any girls? My friends, they like pretty girls. I go, Vinny, I got you. I'll show you girls, they don't even have a jersey. All right, dude. All, All right. right. Well, if this thing falls apart, you might better get bigger muscles, because he's going to need them. <laughs>
They said it just tastes like chicken. No? Hey, Wes, what up, brother? Listen, I need a favor, dude. We got our first engagement party actually tomorrow. And we need alligator meat, Wes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. What is this? What is this for, first of all? This is for tomorrow night. It's it. Yes, I know. I know it's last minute, Wes, but I, I need your help, man. Can you get alligator meat? Pat, I'm a baker. Call a freaking fish market. We actually should be getting some in maybe next week. Do you have a restaurant or you have business? Yeah, we have a business, but we're, we need it for tomorrow night. It's just not out there right now. Maybe we have some turtle meat. Turtle meat? I don't know. Who is going to work this party? Okay. Two people cannot work a 40 person party. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try it. We can get Sarah, Erica, I call Lisa. What, what about are... Frank? I'm probably gonna, I I'll call Frank. Let me see what I can do before I grab Frank. You're fun and uh, stuff? I like Frank though. I know you do. He's fun, but he's like, he's the... like the life of the party. People like him. Yeah, I know. Likeable, he's... friendly people, friendly staff. I understand, staff. but Frank is also a drunk and he's tattooed up all over his body. I'll run out to IGA and uh, I'll grab some stuff and I'll be back in a little bit. Bye. Later on. Muddy mud. My man. Dan, what up, man? It's Matt. What are you doing, brother? Hello. Yo, hey, what up, bunny? We're throwing a gauge party. I'm trying to get some people to work. I need some waitresses, a couple waiters, some people to help clean up. Matt, you gotta be more noticed than that. I'm so close this weekend. No, man, I'm busy. I'm busy. We're both, man. I'm actually gonna be with the wife. I gotta take a flower shopping. What? Matt, I live in California. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Can I really pull this off? Is Melissa gonna be by me to do this? I'm going crazy over here. I can't find no girls to work. Christina? What are you trying to get me in trouble over here? Well, you know, there is some positives, Christina. But the negative is that she has a little thing for me, I think, and uh, I don't think Melissa's gonna be too thrilled about that. If you think of anybody else, let me know. I, I gotta find some girls, okay? All right, you got it, bro. I'll give you a call. All right, bye bye. Hi, guys. Hey, girl, uh, what's happening? Oh, I think I showed up. We're here to bail you out. I know Matt wasn't keen on me calling Frank, but hey, we, we got loads of work to do. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. The backyard is a freaking mess, and every section you clean, I'll give you a beer for every section. <laughs> it's like brownie points. Is that a deal? Cool. You realize the size of this backyard. Like, oh. say that's one spot, two, three, four, four by four, so there's 16 spots. That's 16 beers. That's a great deal. OK, yeah, we got you covered. No problem. Here. Thanks for the help. All right, we can get right to this. We'll get right to it. Isn't that shit crazy, this is, this is honestly a joke. Got something right here that's gonna make our job real easy. I like where your head's at. They might work better than that. Perfect. Halloween stuff. Where's the pig? Mud! 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 Oh, look at this. These look like Mardi Gras things. It's morning, morning. We got the next shift because I can't handle too much more of this. Ah, it's about time. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah, but, yeah, but uh, honestly, revenge, revenge is sweet. What are you doing? Oh, cleaning the yard. Cleaning the yard? What? Melissa well, said, said if we clean a section, we could have a couple beers. Tell all my friends, Melissa calls Frank. It was so sloppy before, you have no idea. Big mess. I know I did, I live here. That whole area was disgusting. It's still disgusting. It was, it was gross. Where's Melissa? Melissa! Yo! Melissa! Why are you calling Frank and Cuddy? They're doing freaking shots of Jägermeister right there, are you kidding me? What are you talking about? I just Yo, you know what? Do you want to do this freaking business? Get down there and clean this mess up. Grab this fucking broom and clear up this fucking place. You two are like children. I gotta separate you. I feel like we're in first, in first grade. You're fucking almost 40 years old. I gotta separate you and put that freaking liquor away. Sorry, dude. Sorry. 
matter with you, I'm man? Sorry, man. I thought we got a lot done. There's a lot of stuff back there to clean, bro. flower from <laughs> That's so cute. Jerk. Babe. Whatever, you don't talk to me like that. I'm sick of being treated like crap. Babe, I love you. Please. So I act like it. I did. Duty brought your flower. Yeah, I love duty, not you. <laughs> Hi, you Duty. You're a good boy. You just so sweet. This is from you. Oh. Look, we had a long day, babe. We have a lot of stuff to do. A lot, you know, I want it to be good. I know, but you're putting a lot of pressure on me, and there's no reason for you to yell at me like that. I'm sorry. I just was aggravated because it seemed Frankie them all over, and they got me riled up. I, I didn't pull them I was trying to yet. be nice and take some pressure off you. I appreciate it, but I'm sorry. I don't want to fight with you. We have so much to do. I don't want to let this couple down. If it was our party, we wanted to get it down, right? If you didn't bring me this flower, I might still be mad, but you're <laughs> lucky because duty brought it. Right, duty? Duty loves you. Let's make it happen. We can do anything together when we put our minds to it, right? This is gonna be amazing. We can do this. Right? Go team. So it's Saturday morning, I get up 5 a.m., skip the gym, I got a thousand things to do, and I'm in attack mode. Remember, the big, two big glass tables and the round table, the white chairs, you can leave. Everything else goes on the other side of the frame. Where are you? Hurry up. Outside. Get outside. Since I couldn't find any professionals to work, I'm hoping my Long Island buddies could bail us out. I have the turntables and mixing boards and stuff there. God bless my friends. I love them all. They're great. But they're definitely not professionals. I need a drink. What? Are you kidding me eating that chicken? Seriously, let's get this stuff in. Come on, let's go. Matt, I need the tape. Okay. Let's get the rest of the stuff, okay? I need the tape, Matt. Okay, I'm getting the tape, Melissa. Melissa's driving me crazy. Oh, this one's fooling around. This one's drinking. This one doesn't want to work without getting a beer. Matt, you your friends aren't doing anything. Whatever, we'll get to him in a minute. Give me a break. Psycho. Hello? Yeah, man, we're getting it together. It looks great, man. You got to see the place. It's good. It's good. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to put my phone, my iPhone. I'm positive right now. All right, man. All right, Vin. Yo, get psyched up. We're pumped up for you guys. Okay. All right, buddy. Later. Vinny and Alex will be here in three hours. And if they saw this, they would probably walk out. It's go time, fellas. Get outside. Let's go. Come on, Frank. Come on, let's go, idiots. What do we do? Wait till next week? Where's the beer that I didn't notice in the truck? Listen, we have things to do. There's no beer for you, bro, until you get stuff done. Not gonna be long, let's see. We're gonna make this side, at least. Yeah. Not gonna make the whole yard. I would be pissed if this was my engagement party. Well, what would you do? I, I don't know. This is supposed to be closed in. You're not supposed what? to look outside. We have side pieces. No, but the, the side pieces shit. look like shit the anyway. Shit. Oh, it's disgusting. Does anybody know what Party City is around here? I need to I need to go. I need to have someone go to get beer and ice. And I need someone to get probably drive. Yeah? Great. Yeah, everybody's drunk. You're just standing there, how about that? Because I'm trying to think here, Melissa. Well, don't hurt yourself. I bought you more, more of those balls to hang up that you wanted. One pair is enough for me, thanks. Come on, Melissa. Babe, this is for you if you want to ma master your dress. Matt, we have to get this shit ready. Like, around. seriously, like, stop worrying about that. Does every word have to be a four-letter language with you? Shut up, loser. Stop. Matt tells me, open the door, Melissa. It's the guest. It's the guest. Hi. And I open it and it says, X Fling, Christina. I had to call Christina. 
Vinny wanted hot girls at the party, and I knew Christina would deliver. As far as Melissa goes, she's gonna have to learn to work with her. Guys, listen up, okay? Um, this is the first party we're doing here at the castle, and this is gonna be the beginning of something really great here. And you know, we're gonna go on to doing weddings, and hopefully, most of you or all of you can be part of it. It's gonna depend on what goes on tonight. All kidding aside, there's been a lot of nonsense that's gone on all day today, and we've got a lot of things accomplished as well, but tonight, there can be no nonsense. This is somebody's engagement party. This is a couple of nice young couple. We've got to make this right. Let's rock. One second. Hey, hey. welcome. Oh my God, you look gorgeous. Let's show you guys what we did for today. Uh, basically, we have the whole backyard set up. I really don't like the chairs. What are you gonna say? You're gonna say it's bad? My, My first friend. impression when I got here, I, I expected uh, a little bit, a little bit more. Melissa, someone's at the door. Hi. Oh, are you guys here for the party? All the guests are here having cocktails, but I'm just worried that Alex and Vinny aren't having a good time. That's, that wasn't me, that was somebody's crab cake. Oh. It just came from the dry food. Who's taking this? Yeah, Patty, come some more. Hey. Patty, yeah. What's they up? really wanted cigars, where are the cigars? What? They really wanted cigars, where are they? Oh, I forgot them. I forgot them. I forgot them, I forgot them. What are we gonna forgot. do? Send somebody, let's send you somebody can't out. can't leave. Well, I'll send somebody. Yo, you guys, who wants to go? When you guys go to get cigars for me? Yeah, sure. Thanks, brother. All right. All right, so that's good. Let's get the rest of this stuff going. I'm really stressed out enough as it is. And then things go from bad to worse. Matt, when are we doing shots together? Um, I don't know. We can do a shot right now or something. You're kidding me, right? All the way here to help you. You want to do a shot with me, but you're going to do one with her? Come on, Melissa. Girls, take a shot. Salud. So Melissa's pissed. And the party isn't exactly swinging. It's time to make a change. It was coming in a small package. Hey. I think someone grabbed my butt. <laughs> You're bad. When you come into the castle, anything can happen. So we didn't exactly deliver our New Orleans feed, but there's one thing life's talking. Small people can be a huge distraction. Brandy definitely improved everybody's mood. Very good, man. I spoke to all my friends here, and they were all impressed, and that's what I like. I like to see that. I'm very confident to see what, what you're going to pull off. Thank you so much. We'll get some shots. Get these guys. This guy's not drinking. Get him some drinks. He needs more drinks. Good, because my feet are killing me. I'm not uh, very good at speeches, but I'm definitely going to say one tonight. I feel blessed and special to have this wonderful woman next to me, Alexandra. We definitely want to thank everybody for taking time out and celebrating with us. Of course, uh, Matt and your beautiful fiance. Thank you so much for making this happen. Uh, in the future, we can work something out with the wedding. <laughs> The whole day had some ups and downs, but at the end of the day, you know, we stick together. I think people are gonna really love what we do. Practice makes perfect.